Metabo HPT adds a new addition to their multi-volt line. We've got official images of the new Milwaukee Rotary Hammer. Harbor Freight hits a massive milestone and wants to thank you with some free gifts. We've got track saws, superchargers, tiny knives, massive impacts, and a terrifying new blade. Plus another platinum tool deal from Ohio Power Tool. This is The Tool Show. Welcome back, Tool fans. I'm Sarah, that's Rob, and we're starting this week's Tool News with Metabo HVT. This week, they've announced a new 36 multivolt half inch high power right angle drill, the D36 DYA. The only footage available is from Hikoki, Netherlands, so I'm assuming that's Dutch. Probably. The new drill is aimed at electricians and plumbers with a strong brushless motor, a high center of gravity, two finger trigger, and of course, compatibility with a plug in AC adapter so you can punch holes and studs all day. All day! All day! <laughs> Little Schmidt always makes the day better. It has a top handle and two position side handle, runs up to 1500 RPM and their RFC tech shuts down the tool if a dangerous twisting motion is detected. Super handy. You can pick one up today for 479 in a 4 amp hour kit. Metallo HVT also announced a new corded 1 and 9 16 inch SDS rotary hammer, the DH40 MEY2. It features an impact rate of 2800 BPM, has four speed modes, vibration protection, and RFC tech just like that right angle drill. It works in both hammer and hammer drill mode and can be set to continuous run in hammer only mode. It's available now for $4.99. Speaking of corded 1 and 9 16 inch SDS Max rotary hammers. That's the segue you don't hear often. Right? Remember that new Milwaukee drill that was announced last week, but we didn't have any photos to go with it? Well, apparently Milwaukee had photos for the cool guys at Ohio Power Tool because they have them online where you can pre-order the new drill. That's the 551721. It was actually pointed out to us by NetWiz1. I appreciate that, bud. If you like to pre-order the new 5517, I'll put a link in the description. I want to ask you guys something. How big do you think Harbor Freight is? Oh, so she asked me this earlier. <laughs> I figured with two stores in our city, mm -hmm. figured maybe an average of eight in every state. So like okay. 400? 400. I was wrong. You were very wrong. Try 1,500. That is a stump ton of stores. <laughs> yes, it is. For comparison, as far as we can tell, Lowe's has around 1,750 stores, and Home Depot has something like 2,300. So 15 is right up there, and Harbor Freight is just about to hit that milestone with the grand opening of their newest store in Kernersville, North Carolina. But what's more interesting than that is how fast they got there. The National Retail Federation named Harbor Freight the fastest growing company in retail in 2023, opening two to three stores a week. Each new store brings 25 to 30 new jobs to the community and, of course, affordable tools for everyone. To celebrate this milestone, Harbor Freight is offering a 15% off coupon on any single item with no exclusions tomorrow on April 6th. They're also going to be giving you a choice of three free gifts with no purchase in store. No idea what those gifts will be, but we're going to our store tomorrow to find out. This week, there were a ton of great tool reviews here on YouTube, starting over at 731 Woodworks, where Matt added another track saw to his very extensive collection, this time from Triton. Matt thinks this just might be the best budget track saw yet. Tools and Stuff decided to test out the new Milwaukee Supercharger, along with the Forge batteries that make it so special. This should be the fastest charger Milwaukee has ever made, but Tools is going to find out if it's worth a high cost. Sarah and I both love knives and have a steadily growing collection of our own. So when Doc from Last Best Tool finds something unique, you can be sure that we're watching. This week, he focused on mini EDCs, specifically this micro scale cleaver that I want for my dino nugs. That's the Cancept Mini Corvid Cleaver, and if Remy used a cleaver at Gusto's, this has to be it. Please give me one of those. Yeah, we'll see. Aww. Project Pine Hills has the Klein pass through ratchet socket set and shows off the many reasons you need to add this to your tool bag or your workbench. I actually needed a pass through ratchet earlier this week working on our testing rig. I had to tighten down a nut on like a long piece of threaded rod and that would have been way easier. Do we not have a single pass through ratchet set? Uh, shockingly, no, but I'll survive. Tech Made Easy got the new Ego 56 volt mini bike and did a bit of battery testing with it. He was able to get up to 15 miles an hour with a single 2.5 amp hour battery, but it didn't appear to last very long. Now we've put about 30 miles on ours so far, but we only use a pair of 12 amp hour because that's how we roll. We can ride all day. Okay, well, actually, we, All day. we, we wouldn't. 
last all day, but I like the energy. <laughs> TME also does a thorough walk around the bike and in the end seems to love it just as much as we do. If you're on the Eagle platform and are still on the fence about getting the mini bike, head over to Tech Made Easy. Do it, just go buy it. Remember my Ryobi speed bench feature from last week? Well, apparently Scott over at Toolbox Buzz thought my review wasn't good enough, so he reviewed it too. Whoa, why would you say that? Why else would anyone review the speed bench after I did? Because many viewpoints are important. Not as important as yours, I mean. Okay, Scott was wrong for doing it and should apologize. Just kidding. Actually, it was a really good review. And coming from the perspective of a professional remodeler, I highly suggest that you go give it a watch. You're scary. Thank you. Machinery Nation is back outside testing OPE, this time using the new Milwaukee pole saw. And as always, no one can pose with a tool like Josh. He takes his time reviewing every feature and then hands it off to James so he can do this. Thanks ever so much, Josh. Let's go and cut some stuff. And of course, James cuts some stuff. Man, I want to get a beer with those two. Right, a Guinness in an English pub, please? The torque testing trio is back, this time testing a new Makita 1-inch impact wrench that we've never heard of. It appears to be an 18-volt LXT, but there are more than a few things wrong with that tool. Something is not right here. Be sure to watch their video and let me know in our comments if you see any red flags. Someone recently pointed out to me in the comments that Tim Johnson doesn't yell, I'm Tim Johnson, in his videos anymore. I went to investigate this week, and as it turns out, they're right. And I think that's an absolute crime. Tim is one of the only few dynamic tool reviewers that doesn't pretend to be a cartoon character in his videos. He's just Tim Johnson, and we love him and his reviews. This week, he got a hold of Skill's new 40-volt 18-inch chainsaw, which is an absolute unit considering its DIY roots. The saw is great, the review is great, but sure enough, Tim doesn't say, I'm Tim Johnson, in the beginning of his video. So, I want you guys to do me a favor. As soon as we're done here, head over to his Skill Chainsaw Review and leave a comment that says, quote, Great review, Tim Johnson! Maybe if we get enough of those, we'll convince him to start saying it again at the front of his reviews. We ran into a channel that was new to us this week called Turf Culture. The host never seems to share his name, but his review of the Milwaukee reciprocating scissors attachment was really fun to watch. I got to try out that blade at Pipeline last year, and it was really effective, but thanks to those reciprocating blades, it's totally safe for your fences and your siding. If you think that you could use the new Milwaukee scissors, be sure to check out Turf Culture first. And finally, Richard didn't review any tools this week over on Finnish Carpentry TV, but he did share an educational feature that seemed simple at first, but turned out to be the most detailed video ever on how to fill your nail holes in trim. Now, I know it sounds silly, but it's something that even us DIYers do often. And as it turns out, not only are there many products for you to choose, but many techniques and solutions that will leave you with a perfect surface for your finish. If you're ever filling nail holes, you'll want to bookmark this video. All right, it's time again for a Platinum Tool Deal from Ohio Power Tool. This week, you can save $50 off a $100 or more purchase of any in-stock packout. That includes their boxes, accessories, and even the packout tumblers. But remember, the code only works for the first 25 people, so you gotta be here on Friday at 8 p.m., and you gotta move fast. The code that you need is TS96104. Good luck. I wanna thank Skill, Flex, Tested HQ, and Ohio Power Tool for continuing to support our show and our community of tool fans. All right, guys, if you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and Sarah and I, we'll see you next week.